Welcome to the first session of Defense Acquisition Procedure 2020, Chapter 1. Chapter 1 covers the acquisition categories, acquisition planning, and indigenous content. I intend to cover the Chapter 1 in three sessions. In the first session, which is the present one, I will cover the acquisition scheme and categories. Capital acquisition schemes are basically what controls uh, capital budget expenditure. DAP 2020 covers all capital acquisitions other than works and land and medical equipment. These are done by the Ministry of Defense and the SHQ, including the Indian Coast Guards. The DRDO, the Ordnance Factory Board and DPSOs follow their own procedures. Now, capital acquisition is divided into three major parts. The first is capital acquisition, which is basically meant for the short term to medium term. At the bottom is the development of long term indigenous defense capability. In the center, center it is the other capital procurement procedures, which are primarily overhaul, major refits, upgrades and replacements of items of capital nature. Note, this is a new introduction in DAP 2020. Erstwhile, capital budget used to spend through revenue procedure. However, there was no policy dictated in DAP or the DPP 2016. Erstwhile, the defense acquisition procurement uh, policy document. Now, capability acquisition is divided into three schemes. The first is buy, buy and make. And the third is leasing, which is a new scheme that has been introduced into DAP 2020. More about it later. Now, buy scheme is divided into buy Indian IDDM, Indian indigenously designed development manufacture, buy Indian, buy global. Whereas buy and make scheme is divided into buy and make Indian, buy global manufacture in India. Now, these five of these are called procurement categories. They are distinct to the procurement schemes that is buy and buy and make. Development of long-term indigenous capability is achieved through three vehicles. The first is the strategic partnership model or the SPM. Next is the design and development by DRDO, which is DND, and make an innovation. In the make scheme, you have the make one, the make two, and the make three. More about it later. In the innovations, which is defense excellence, is for startups and MSMEs primarily, internal organizations of the services, and there is a fund called Technological Development Fund controlled by DRDO, which basically enables financing of these projects. A point to note, make and design and development schemes, both of them can be pursued in isolation, in sequence or tandem with any one of the procurement category which I mentioned, which are listed above. So a scheme can go on in the procurement categories as well as in buy and make and the design and development simultaneously. In this session, I will cover the capability acquisition, which are primarily comprised of the buy and the buy and make schemes with the procurement categories, the make and innovation with the three makes and the innovations. Now, procurement categories. Now, the procurement categories, the focus of the policy is on indigenous production and procurement from domestic sources in consonance with the intent of the government of Atman Nirbharta. The intent is to develop the defense ecological system in the country. The first is in the buy category, in buy scheme, is the buy Indian indigenous design developed manufactured. It is acquisition only from an Indian vendor. It is indigenously designed, developed, and manufactured. In this, a minimum of 50% indigenous content has to be shown on cost basis of the base contract price. The base contract price is the total contract price, less taxes and duties. Basically, the SHQ ascertains it during the response that is to the RFI, and that is a request for information. It confirms the capability of the vendor to come into this category. The vendor has to submit documents and support during giving his technical bid. The next category is the buy Indian. The acquisition can only be from an Indian vendor. In this category, it may not be designed and developed indigenously. However, in this 60% indigenous content on cost basis of the BCP has to be attained by the Indian vendor. 
if an indian vendor has indigenously designed the product he has to uh, he has to cater for a minimum of 50% only as compared to 60% therefore a buy indian iddm category vendor eligible for that he can also participate in the buy indian category should the un be of that with a minimum 50% indigenous content buy global it is the least preferred of all the cat categories it implies outright purchase of equipment from a foreign vendor or it could also be an indian vendor examples of this is the government to government route there is also the iga route intergovernment agreement route which is with the russian or the fms foreign military service uh, agreement with the usa in this the foreign vendor needs to discharge offsets if at the time of taking of aon the estimate cost of the project is equal or greater than 2000 crore however this is not applicable for ab initio single vendor cases including the iga and the fms root cases dsc can consider a partial oblique full waiver of the offset clause this discretion is with them an indian vendor participating in this category will require to have a minimum of 30% indigenous content should he not have it he has to discharge offsets however the waiver does not set aside indian vendor from the indigenous content stipulation now procurement schemes of buy and make two categories buy and make indian in this category the indigenous acquisition is carried out in the fully formed state from a indian vendor who is in tie up with a foreign original equipment manufacturer or the foem the initial acquisition which may only be a part of the full procurement scheme is followed by indigenous production in a phased manner each involving tot transfer of technology of critical technology of specified range depth and scope from the foem the indigenous content gradually increases as the phases of absorption of tot increase the indian vendor has to show a minimum of 50% indigenous content on cost basis only of the make portion and not obviously of the buy portion an initial procurement in the fully formed state is not mandatory everything could be make indian only buy global manufactured in india it implies the outright purchase of the equipment from the foreign vendor of the necessary quantity to be distinct from buy global it is followed by indigenous manufacture of entire part of the equipment and spares assembly along with maintenance repair overhaul if contracted this is done through the indian subsidiary or the joint venture or the appointed indian production agency by the mod from the oem with transfer of technology from the oem therefore you have a foem in conjunction with a indian partner subsidiary or a joint venture minimum 50% indigenous content on cost basis is to be achieved indian vendor can participate in it and initial fully formed procurement is not mandatory in this also now in the procurement category there is a decreasing order of priority the highest order of priority is by indian iddm followed by by indian by and make indian by global manufacturer in india and by global if the shq has to go in to ask for oem for a lower category say by global manufacturer in india it has to justify in the state of case why the first three higher priority categories are not achievable then only oem shall be given vendors eligible for participating in a higher category will be permitted to participate in the lower category however provided they meet the requirements of the lower category shq on case to case basis may require, recommend a lower ic content for approval now there could be bio nominated equipment to be a point given by the shq oblique the mod for the vendor to provide now this could be a uh, part of assembly sub assemblies uh, certain um, certain spares or certain uh, uh, equipment that are attachments to the main equipment these are excluded from the base contract price when calculating the indigenous content now there is a positive list of indigenization now in this positive list of indigenization whatever equipments have been listed can only be procured under the by indian iddm or the by indian category two categories 
if you have to procure under the buy and make Indian or the buy global manufacture in India, in this case, the buy quantity is to be zero. That means it can only be either make or manufacture in India. None of the categories, other categories are eligible for the positive list of indigenization equipment. Make an innovation scheme. This involves procedures making prototypes and thereafter establishing a production line for manufacture. In the make scheme, there's make one, make two and make three. Make one primarily looks at projects involving design, development of equipment, system platforms upgrade by the industry. In this case, the Ministry of Defense finances up to 70% of the prototype development or a maximum of 250 crores per DA, not greater than that. Eligibility is only for Indian vendors. Make two. It includes the design, development, and innovative solution by an Indian vendor only. Point to note, no government funding is available in Make2. However, the solutions can be offered by a single vendor or it can be offered sumoto and they would progress as a resultant single vendor without embargo. Indian vendor category is there for eligibility plus their financial criteria eligibility. In this, the cost of prototype development should be more than 3 crore and the procurement cost should be more than 100 crores. Make 3. Manufacture in India as import substitution for systems held in inventory of services with the, with the, with the SHQ is importing. Indian firms will manufacture this either in collaboration or with transfer of technology from the foreign vendor which is providing it. Successful development under the make one or the make two category. The acquisition has to be carried out through the categories of buy Indian IDDM with a minimum indigenous content of 50%. Under the make three scheme, it shall be procured under the buy Indian category with a minimum indigenous content of 60%. So these procedures will apply even to the make schemes. Where the procurement cost does not exceed 100 cro crores per year on a planned delivery schedule, the acceptance of necessity is applicable only for MSMEs. In case there is no MSME forthcoming, it can be offered to other vendors. Innovation categories. Innovation for defense excellence. This is for projects, for startups, MSMEs. It is with low capital investment and high innovation. Innovators, industry startups can follow forward Sumoto proposals. We'll look at it later on. Technology Development Fund is for development of prototype of DRDO sponsored projects by Indian vendors. This fund is used for leveraging the domestic capabilities available with the Indian industry, especially MSMEs and startups. Once the prototype is development, the procurement is carried out under the buy Indian IDDM category that is 50% indigenous content. To note, the intellectual property rights shall be jointly held by DA and DRDO and not only by the DA. Now, there's certain internal organization of the SHQ. Their indigenous development is controlled by the third category where different organization of the services can, with or without the participation of the private industry, carry, uh, carry out its development. Private industry can move in, in concert with the internal organization of the services. Once these projects are developed, procurement takes place under the buy Indian IDDM category or buy Indian category. In the next session, I will cover the other procurement scheme, indigenous content and definition of Indian vendor.